Hayes Disc Brakes Dominion Piston Lubrication Procedure. Caliper piston lubrication is necessary for disc brakes to function properly. We're going to explain what it is, how it affects performance, and how to diagnose and perform the service. Conditions like excessive heat or long periods of non-use can cause the piston and square seal in the caliper to stick together. Once this occurs, the piston no longer correctly slides through the seal. This results in excessive piston retraction. Riders will notice this at the lever and may complain of an abnormally long lever pull as the pads continue to wear. To address this condition, you'll need to remove the caliper from the bike. We removed the master cylinder for this demonstration. You can choose to skip this step. Assemble these tools and let's get started. Once the caliper is removed and you've removed the brake pads, insert the piston service end of the Hayes bleed block into the caliper from the bottom. The piston service end of the bleed block is designed to only allow one side of the caliper's pistons to move. Stroke the brake lever until the pistons contact the block on both sides. Remove the block from the caliper. Be careful not to stroke the lever at this time. If the exposed pistons are dirty, they are ready to be cleaned. Spray them with isopropyl alcohol and wipe with a clean, lint-free towel or swab. Once cleaned and dry, the advanced pistons can now be pushed back into their bores until they are flush with the caliper. Do this using a plastic tire lever or the boxed end of a 10 millimeter wrench. Pushing them all the way in allows the brake fluid to lubricate the piston and seal interface. Be careful not to scratch the piston and be certain it's not crooked in the bore. Next, flip the bleed block over and repeat this process for the pistons on the other side of the caliper. You may need to repeat this entire process more than once to fully clean and lubricate the piston seal interface. Reassemble the brake pads into the caliper. Ensure that each piston makes complete contact with the pad. A piston misaligned in its bore will make the brake feel soft at the lever. Reinstall the caliper. Install the wheel and test the caliper by squeezing the brake lever. You should notice smooth, consistent feel at the lever. Examine the caliper and the pads to be sure both pads are advancing and retracting correctly. Use your torque wrench to safely tighten all fittings. You have completed the cleaning and lubrication of the caliper pistons. Hayes recommends this procedure as part of a complete brake maintenance program. Please continue to our YouTube channel and HayesBicycle.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Hayes.